Hi everyone and welcome to my channel 1111 Butterfly Effect where transformation happens, knowledge is power, and the divine is always at work. Thank you all for joining my divine spirit and I here at the table for a twin flame connection check-in. Yes people, it's been a long minute <clears throat> since I've posted, since I've been online. I'm not going to really get into all the details, but a lot is going on. Um, I'm trying to uh, deal with some personal life circumstances, uh, you know, job changes, uh, a lot that's going on in the collective <laughs> as a divine feminine is going on with me. And uh, I guess it's all in preparation for Divine Sacred Union. And uh, we'll just leave it at that and get into this message. I think that uh, I'm feeling good enough to drop some cards on the table and connect with my Divine Spirit and the Oracles today to see what's going on. Just what is up? What's going on? Let's see where we're at between this twin flame connection between the divine feminine and the divine masculine as of this very present moment. So on that note, let's begin. And uh, stay tuned because uh, I'm going to be full bore. There's so much to come out that I'm going to be posting pretty much one after the other message. So stay tuned, bear with me and my divine spirit while we, you know, drain the sink, as we say. Yes, draining the sink. So I did some clearing and some pre-shuffling. So we're just going to do a little more shuffle and get right into the message. <clears throat> I hope everyone is doing well. You're safe and sound. You're getting through the last tail ends of this pandemic circumstance. And I don't even want to mention it. So that's about all I'm going to say. <clears throat> because as a collective, as a whole, as a whole of humanity, I think we've got the message. It's time to, you know, look at life differently. See it in a different perspective. Number one, and also, you know, looking at this as the opportunities to make the changes that need to be made in our lives. Because that's what this is all about, change. So on that note, let's zero in. Thank you, my divine spirit and the quantum oracle. Yes, main message today is going to be coming from... Quantum Oracle deck by Sandra and Taylor. And we're going to get some confirmation and clarity back up by my one of my two decks. This is the Twin Flame Journey, the Yellow Brick Road Oracle deck. And some final Twin Flame connection message from the Romance Angels Oracle by this deck's by Doreen Virtue. Great messages. Coming from all. So, again, let's get to this. Twin Flame Connection check-in. See what's going on between the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Thank you, my Divine Spirit and the Quantum Oracle for joining me here at the table for this Twin Flame Connection check-in. See what's going on between the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. what their thoughts are, what the energy is, what the status is, what the next move is. Just lay it all out for us, my divine spirit and quantum oracle. Please just lay it all out on the table. All right, we're going to cut the deck. You know, divine spirit says one more shuffle. Then cut the deck. Okay, here we go. 
Because that was solid. Yes. Top three cards. We're going to pull this message from the top three cards of the deck. And we're going to see how it all full unfolds, right? For this Twin Flame Connection check-in today. Commitment. Very nice. Written. Divinely written here. Plan. Oh my goodness. Your higher self. So it looks like we have Divine Masculine. Divine Feminine, <laughs> and the third card is, ah, uh, no, please no, Consciousness of Lack, someone's in their head too much, you need to get out of your head because, you know, you're missing it, you're missing the movie, <laughs> see? Got your back to the movie. You're missing it. What the heck? You want to miss out on this? Best movie you've ever seen? Okay. Well, this is probably, you know, moving out of this. Okay? The potential of the outcome is to move away from this. Because... Divine Masculine's making plans for commitment. See? Making plans for commitment. Happy as a clam. Doesn't look like that. <laughs> Divine Feminine. <laughs> y'all, y'all are just ready. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Right? All with your higher self, divinely connected with your, you know, loving heart, open and ready to receive, huh? Well, let's just cover this real quick and see what we're looking at, huh? Events. One thirty seven uh, uh, commitment. This card shows a man signing papers at a table and it foretells a commitment on the horizon. Okay, move this over here. I mean, look at that divinely inspired. Making plans. Hmm? It may be, in fact, be in the form of a romantic relationship or even a marriage. There could also be a business commitment, a job offer, a partnership, a rental agreement, or the sale of a house. All of these activities bode well for you at this time. Could be a car. Could be a new business. Right? Could be any and all of the above. Whatever fits into your story, into your journey, whatever plans you've been making, Divine Masculine, keep making them. You're on the right track, right? A good resolution is on the, for, on the horizon, okay? Something that you've been dealing with for a while, it's coming, the decision has been made, and the cycle is ending, so this new cycle can begin. Of course, you still need to do your research and get a clear understanding of your part in this commitment, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Investigate what's expected of you and what you, what you can expect of anyone else involved. Know what you want, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Being well, well informed will help the this being well informed will help this new endeavor go smoothly. Indeed, being prepared and informed helps all areas of life. The universe blesses your commitments as you bring your personal power and highest intention to all that you do. 
Hmm. That's what you're bringing forth, divine masculine, is your divine feminine. Right? That's what this is saying. Okay? And, you know, to move forward to, you know, the action that must be taken. Right? This card shows a woman's heart with brilliant white wings radiating golden light. It represents your own eternal spirit, your higher self, the part of you that exists before this life, before all the issues you think this life is about. This is you before you came to planet and you found yourself again, Divine Feminine. And this can happen. This is happening to you, Divine Masculine, because why? Because you're on this twin flame journey and you are mirroring each other. You have caught up. Right? Yes. You've caught up. Let's see if I can get these on there together. You're entering a very valuable and intuitive time. One in which you're able to feel the true depth of your power, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Because you're mirroring each other. You're catching up. You are shedding the feelings of doubt and limitation. Shedding this consciousness of lack. That's the action that's taking place. So that this will be no longer a possible outcome. No. This is your true self, your lifeline to truth, higher consciousness, and timeless connections. Meditate on your soul's identity to gain all the understanding you need and all the solutions that you seek. Your answers are within Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. You know this by now. If you're on this twin flame journey, in a twin flame connection, approaching sacred union, you must know it. No mucking around. Right? Again, meditate on your soul's identity to gain all the understanding you need and all the solutions that you seek. Your soul is clearing the way for profound blessings to come. So let the sacred self guide you, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. As you do, you'll begin to notice magical happenings in your life. And if you haven't noticed that already, you're not paying attention. Huh? You are not on a twin flame journey if you are not grasping what is being said here. True story. You can't fake it until you make it if you're not really on a twin flame journey. The truth is always revealed. Right? So that you can move beyond lack of consciousness. So you can move beyond your obstacles and the things that are holding you back. Keeping you from your destiny. Your divine destiny. The plan that was planned before you came to planet, you are now rediscovering. Hmm? Man leans dejectedly on a concrete heart. His back turned to the potential gold and beauty that's in front of him. His melancholy seems overwhelming, lost in his head instead of following his heart. How could you get lost in your little tiny head when this big heart is right there, right in front of you, screaming at you, saying, hello. I'm here for the taking. Love. Abundance. 
So overwhelming. Yes, it can be. If you stay in your head, you'll be overwhelmed. Okay? Because in your head is the ego. And at this point in time in the journey, okay, your ego should be like this big. <laughs> right? Otherwise, you struggle. Because you are not your higher self. So you want to get out of this consciousness of lack. You know, this is what you must do. You must commit to the journey. Okay? To your higher self. To the divine plan. And that will get you out of there. Right? Right? There may be some financial limitations, possibly even significant money woes. You know, you're tied up in a karmic situation. You know, during this lockdown, you can't get away. All kinds of things could be happening. But again, how you respond to event is the outcome you will receive. My all-time lifetime formula. E plus R equals O. You want to stay here, you continue to stay in your head. You want to move forward towards this commitment with your divine feminine, <laughs> Timber. Huh? You want to move forward with your divine feminine? Oh my goodness. I wonder what that's a sign of, huh? Too much on the easel? Too much on the mind? Well, you get the picture, okay? This consciousness card reveals even deeper issues than a great than the great gratitude card revised. Hmm. It demands that you shift out of the lack of consciousness now. Even if you feel something is missing in your life, your fear only restricts you further, making it more miserable and manifesting more limitation. Right? What you focus on, you bring about. So if you're focusing on lack, that's what you're going to get more of. If you focus on this bliss that's up ahead, that's what's going to come forward. Hmm? Let go of limitations and lack. Always choose to see the value of life and of yourself. Okay? It may be difficult to focus on something positive when you're lonely and have financial troubles. But it's absolutely necessary to do so if you want to change that reality. Take the steps you need to resolve whatever issues may be bothering you. But don't stop there. Make the energetic cause to always acknowledge what you have, even to the smallest detail. Grace and gratitude brings forth joy and happiness. Okay? Choosing to value yourself and your life will break down the harsh feelings in your heart and bring many amazing experiences to you. Get out of your head and follow your heart. Right? That's what this is talking about here. Okay? Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. You want to have joy and happiness? That's what you need to do. You need to get out of your head and follow your heart. Because your head is going to play tricks on you and lie to you. And also can be, you know, controlled by outside forces. Your heart cannot. Your heart can only be touched by yourself, your higher self, and the divine. Okay? So you get that, sooner your journey 
journey will be smoother. So let's get some confirmation on this message here. What is it? 20 minutes in. Let us see. Look, we got a cat whisker here. Ah, uh, can't get it. There we go. <clears throat> Still kind of getting out, out of this unusual energy, uh, people. So bear with me. Um, I've done a few uh, sit-downs. This is the first one I'm recording. And hopefully, you know, like I said, there'll be more coming as the messages come in. But first, please, my Divine Spirit and the Yellow Brick Road Oracle, join us here at the table for some clarity and confirmation for this Twin Flame Connection check-in message from the Quantum Oracle. Please give us some confirmation and clarity to see that Yes, indeed, this is where we're at, and this is the direction we should be heading in. Don't doubt the mission, okay? Don't doubt the divine plan, because, you know, that will, that will bring you nothing but struggle, <laughs> like I'm doing. Oh, my Sagittarian is coming out here. Clumsy, clumsy. Anyway, let's get to this clarity and confirmation. You know, we have divine masculine, divine feminine, very close to union. And again, the only thing that's going to block you or stop you, if you let another person, other than that, it's yourself. Yourself, your way of thinking, your belief system. You know, these are the things, it seems, it appears at this point in time in the journey that block divine uh, twin flames from union. So, and if you guys are marrying each other, then bada boom, bada bang, uh, union is on the way, okay? All right, I think we've shuffled enough. Let's pull some cards to get some confirmation and clarity for this Twin Flame Connection check-in. Top three cards using my deck. Twin Flame Journey, Yellow Brick Road, Oracle deck. For clarity and confirmation, this deck, these decks are... Coming out at about 98.9, 99.8% uh, positive. I can't even think right now. I mean, all the retrograde is just <laughs> making me spin. And I just went and grounded myself before I started this uh, message. So it looks like I'm going to have to go out and do some more grounding. So, top three cards. Second chance. Divine Masculine, planning, making plans for the second chance. And 15, that breaks down to 6. And to me, 6 is all about love. Wanting to be loved and wanting to love. Okay? That's some major confirmation right there, people. Next card. Rejection. Seven, 34 breaks down to seven. Let me just see here. Mm -hmm -hmm. Like I said, don't get in your head. Stay in your heart, okay? The moment you get in your head, you're going to start doubting. You're going to start, start, you know, thinking and being scared and letting fear rule you so don't you you know 34 breaks down to seven okay 
divine number, right? Personal growth, spirituality, okay? That's what seven's all about. Don't reject it. Don't reject what's coming. Okay? Don't let fear rule this situation so that you reject, reject your gifts. Don't be afraid of, you know, what's to come. Last card. Unconditional love. See what's waiting for you? If you get out of your head and follow your heart. Another six. Six book ending seven. We got a six here and a six here. Love, love, love. That's what I see. Hmm? Second chance is coming, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. You know, something you've been manifesting, wishing for, hoping for. Why would you reject it? Hmm? If you did, if you do, it's because you're in your head. You're letting your ego not make decisions. And look what we got here. <laughs> Past life connection. Another six. So we have three sixes. Six, six, and six. And that is not a bad number, okay? And the bottom of the deck here. Ascended Masters. You have health. Hmm? <laughs> Past life connection. Twin flame. Confirmation. Okay? Second chance or third chance or maybe this is your hundredth chance. Maybe this is your last chance. Last lifetime. Right? Bottom line, you have a chance at unconditional love, and this is a divine path, okay? The ascended Masters are with you, and this is a past life connection. So, without a doubt, this is Twin Flame Journey Confirmation here, okay? Ah, look! <laughs> uh-huh! Twin Flame Journey Confirmation! Four. <laughs> Can't get any more than that. So what does it say to you, for you to do? Release it. Release and enjoy. Huh? There's passion here. Look at that, okay? Past life connection. Twin flame journey. Release and enjoy that passion. My goodness. That's some confirmation. I'd say that's a 99.8% confirmation on this. Let's pull some uh, final words from the Romance Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue for... Some final word for this Twin Flame connection check-in. We're approaching the end of a month, the end of May 2020. And uh, June is about to begin. Summertime is approaching. Lockdown is, you know, uh, ending. You know, places are going, opening back up. Businesses are opening back up. Life is kind of heading back towards some kind of new normalcy so it's time the cards say it's time right here 
time to get this past life connection rolling. To let this second chance begin. It's divinely protected here. Seven, ascended masters. And it's love. It's unconditional love. Six, six, and six. Remember? You know what? Before we drop that romance angel card, let's just look and see what the message is for 666. Your thoughts are too focused on material illusions. Raise your thoughts spiritually to get your life back on track. Yeah. Okay. You want to get out of this lack of consciousness thinking? Okay, that's the action you need to take. Raise your thoughts spiritually and get your life back on track. Get out of your head and follow your heart. That's what that's saying. Yes, indeed. All right, now let's get to this romance angels card. Please, my divine spirit. Got one already. Trust in the plan. That's right. This situation is calling for you to have faith. You gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. Yeah, you gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. That's right. Faith. So, trust that this situation is calling for you to have faith. Trust in the plan, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Trust in the plan you are being guided to follow. See? The plan is always well lit. See? Yes, yes, yes. So, final word for this twin flame connection check-in between the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Give us up this last bit of final words for this message. All right. Uh -huh. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay? Commitment. Where else did we have commitment? Commitment. Second chance. Trust in that second chance, divine feminine. Your divine masculine is ready to commit. Okay, double confirmation there, right? Bum ba -dum. Mm -hmm. That's right, they're coming. <laughs> it's coming. Oh my goodness. And, of course, that's not to, you know, lose focus. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you to pay attention. Okay? Doesn't mean give up. Doesn't mean change course. It means pay attention. So that you don't miss any of your signs and synchronicities that are coming forward to help you navigate your path, which again is well lit. Bottom of the deck, bottom of the deck energy, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience, you experience more love in your present moments. Again, as you release and heal the past, your experience, you, excuse me, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, experience more love in your present moments. I'm telling you, it's in the cards. Okay, it's written in the stars. Why? Because this is a past life connection. Okay? And uh, I got some new cards, some Starseed Wisdom for Spiritual Growth by Nari 
Anastasia, Anastasia. I hope I'm saying that right. I discovered these cards on my new uh, teacher's channel, Guided by Angels. And uh, that's her channel, Guided by Angels. Check that out. It's a great channel full of wisdom and spirit connection. Anyway, let's get some inspiration for this twin flame connection for the divine feminine and the divine fast masculine so that you can stay out of your head and follow your heart and continue to move forward towards the sacred union thank you my divine spirit thank you star seeds oracle please offer us up that thought of hope that phrase of inspiration that we need there we go we're going to take that top card. Okay? Courage. Live your life fearlessly with courage, strength, and determination. Divine masculine and divine feminine. Now is the time to draw on your courage. It's the truth. Okay, that's it. That's your Twin Flame Connection check-in message. And that's confirmation that this is it. Uh, I hope you find this inspiring, insightful, and I hope that uh, it's resonating with you, that it gives you that boost of faith to move forward. Until next time, if you like what you see in here, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and help us continue to grow and move forward on this journey and to help others, to continue to help others navigate safely as well. Thanks again. Until next time, take good care. Bye-bye.